She is the mastermind and the creator. We would not be here today were it not for her passion for this community and her desire to serve and bring quality speakers here to Denver. She's a social media strategist. She's a marketer. She's a speaker. She is a consultant. She is the CEO and founder of Socially Powered at Socially Powered. She helps thousands of business owners. She's fantastic. And she's going to teach you today the power of Instagram and Instagram stories. And if you haven't used them, you need to be. And if you have, this would be a great time to tell a story. Please welcome the one and only Aaron Sell. Thank you. So Joel actually screwed that up. I'm not talking about stories today. I'm wait, gonna leave wait, that. it says right oh, here. Oh, well maybe I changed it. I don't know. Um, I'm actually gonna leave that to Mr. Chris Strub. So thank you for that introduction. Talk about whatever you want. I probably will. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Um, so yes, I am Aaron Sell, and I'm going to be talking about Instagram success, the power of Instagram. So who else on Instagram? Awesome. So I love Instagram. It is one of my very favorite platforms. Okay. Is this going to work? There we go. Oh, and it's cut off a little bit, but that's okay. So I already kind of told you guys the story of Social Media Day, but I want to give you just a little bit more um, information about it. So this was from our first year. This was 2016. Uh, I did this with my Colorado women in social media. And we did a, a basically it was a half day of social media. We did a panel presentation and then we did a fun scavenger hunt downtown, and then we went and had a networking party. And I, I loved that, but like I said, I really wanted to grow this event and, and bring the Denver community more social media information. So last year, I, I took it from about 50 people to over 200 people, and I brought in people from around the world uh, we had it up the street at the field house. Uh, so you can see this picture here from our speakers. We got Chocolate Johnny. This is one of my favorite pictures from last year. Chocolate Johnny jumping in front in front, and uh, doing his Chocolate Johnny thing. So if you don't know who he is, he's a, a big Snapchatter. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about today is the power of Instagram and why you should be using Instagram for your business how to make real connections online. I'm going to give you guys some uh, real life examples of how I used Instagram to create this event. Some tools and resources. And then I'm also going to say thank you to all of uh, the people who helped make this event happen. So why you should be on Instagram. Because there's stuff like this there, right? Who doesn't love a good, cute dog, right? <laughs> I just thought he was, he was super cute. And so Instagram actually posted this picture or reshared this picture. This is um, Samson the Dude. D-O-O-D, -O -O -D, not dude. <laughs> this picture has over 8,000, I'm sorry, 800,000 likes and 7,000 comments. It's crazy. So uh, Instagram actually has 240 million followers. So you're not going to, most, most of us don't have 240 million followers, right? No. Uh, so Instagram has 800 million daily, or not daily active users, but active users. 800 million. And I actually recently heard that it may be a billion, but I, actually, I got these stats from Facebook last week. At, I went to Facebook Community Boost, and that's what they told us. So I'm, gonna go, I'm just going with the 800 million, but experts are saying that definitely by the end of this year, there will be over a billion people on Instagram. 50% of those users log in daily. That's crazy. 50%. So 400 million people are getting on Instagram every single day. 
80% of those users actually follow businesses. So if you are a business, you should be on Instagram. And not only that, you should make sure that you actually have a business profile, not a personal profile. And if you don't know how to, if you don't know the difference, then you can come find me and I can show you afterwards. But there's, there's reasons that you want to be sure you have a business versus a personal profile. Uh, so 75% of those people that are on Instagram are actually purchasing through Instagram. So if you have a, a business that's selling something tangible, you, you should be on Instagram and have it set up so that people can buy. 25 million businesses are on Instagram. That's a lot of businesses on there. And then 2 million uh, are, of those businesses are active advertisers on Instagram. And I will mention stories, not to step on Chris's toes, but uh, there are 300 million people are on Instagram stories watching daily. Does everybody know what stories are? Do you guys watch stories? Yeah. I love stories. One of my favorites. Um, and I will just add to stories that people are actually watching stories more than uh, looking at their regular feeds. So Chris will tell you more about that, I'm sure. So visuals are a universal language. It doesn't matter what language anybody speaks. You can tell a story through a picture. And here's some examples. This was uh, posted by Instagram about the World Cup. Uh, and I just, just, you know, it's a, it's a good looking image, right? It's, guy, it's an interesting image. So this image has over 1 million likes and 8,000 comments. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> Helps if you can see it. All right. I forget because it's like a forward on, on here. So this one I just thought was a super cute little duck. Uh, so they, Instagram posted this one as well. Uh, 1.5 million likes on this one and 10,000 comments. So make sure that you know, whatever you're posting on Instagram is eye-catching and interesting to, to your followers. Visuals, visuals com, uh, communicate your message 60 times faster than words. So it's, you know, tell, tell the story. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a, a few examples of local businesses that are using Instagram because like I said, you know, we're not all Instagram and have 240 million followers. So this is an example of one of our sponsors, Shotzer. And I'm not sure, are you guys here? Shots are, shots are people? Anyway, they're, if they're not here, they're going to be here shortly. So this, this was posted uh, by Schatzer the other day, and they have, you know, a little over 1,400 followers, and they got 154 likes and 10 comments. So think about it in percentages. So, you know, the Instagram has the 240 million, and they're getting, you know, depending on the image, like look at the percentages when you're, when you're thinking about the engagement and the, the interaction. This was uh, an image from last year's Social Media Day that, that I had posted on Social Media Day Denver. So we, you know, we don't have a huge following either. We've only got 656 as of the day that, that I did this slide. Uh, but we got, you know, 112 likes on this post and 10 comments, so that's a pretty good percentage of engagement. Uh, this one was from Creative Circle, who's our sponsor back there, and they posted this, uh, I'm not sure when they posted this one, but uh, so they've got a little over 3,000 followers and they got 154 likes. So you can see that it doesn't matter if you have 240 million or 3,000, uh, you can still get, you know, good engagement on your Instagram posts. So, images are one thing, but video is another. Hopefully this will play. I just thought this was a cool video. <laughs> uh, it, it, it looks, you know, it's visually appealing, right? 
Uh, so this was posted by Instagram, of course, and it has over 7 million views and 7,000 comments. That's crazy, right? So people spend five times longer watching videos than they do uh, looking at images. Here's another. So this one, again, posted by Instagram. This is um, somebody, I think she's um, out of, yeah, out of Paris, 18-year-old from Paris who travels the world performing these ball tricks. She has over 12 million views and 21,000 comments. It's crazy. So 75% of users on Instagram search. They search for something on Instagram. Then they share it, so they share it with their friends, and then guess what they do? They buy it, they click buy. So the, the great thing about Instagram, especially if you have a business profile, like I mentioned, everybody should have a business profile, not a personal profile. You can connect your business profile to Facebook, and if you have products to sell, you can link to them in Facebook. And so people, when they're searching and they see your business on Instagram, they can actually hit buy. It's amazing, right? So Instagram is about the connections. And I, I believe this about all social media platforms, not just Instagram. It Really, you should be engaging and connecting with people online, not just sell, sell, sell. Um, and I just like this picture because I like dogs. <laughs> And I thought these guys were cute. OK, so I want to I wanted tell you guys a little bit of the, the stories of how I used Instagram to connect with people that are either here today. Um, Schatzer is an example. Um, Chibi Wibbits, who you guys will hear about later. They're going to be here. Um, it's our, one of our food trucks that will be here at lunch, for lunch. Uh, so Chibi Wibbits, I was, you know, I was just searching on, on Instagram because I, I knew I wanted to have food trucks here. And so just started looking, you know, food trucks Denver and reaching out to people and then direct messaging them. So direct messaging on Instagram is truly the best way to connect with people. Um, so basically I just, I, I DM'd them and said, hey, I'm doing this event. We're looking for trucks. Would you guys be interested? And then it started a conversation. You know, we actually got on the phone. And then once I talked to him, I said, you know, I'm actually looking for a couple trucks to be here. Do you know of any other trucks that might be interested? And he said, sure. And so he actually connected me to, um, I'm going to put this up, to Rocky Mountain Slices, who's the other truck that's going to be here this afternoon. So that's really cool. And then I wanted to point out, Julie, are you here? Yay. <laughs> So th this was the other thing that, that we did uh, for connecting was we looked for local influencers that would want to partner with us to share out about this event because we really wanted to grow the event and, and get the word out to more people than just you know my inner circle. And so Julie was one of the people that, that we reached out to and she did this you know cute little post of, of her being social. And, you know, you can see here she had 142-ish likes on that post and got people to share it out. And, you know, pretty cool, right? So this is another one of our sponsors, and he is up there, Ryan, um, with HomePod sleeves. And I have kind of a funny story about this one because I, again, like I said, I was searching for local Denver businesses. I found him. I thought he had a cool product, so I DM'd him. I was uh, in, like, in the back of an Uber messaging with him, and he writes me back. First thing he says is, is this an automated message? <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's me. I'm, I'm real. I'm a real person, and um, I'd, I'd love to talk to you about being involved. And so you know, we wrote back and forth a few times that day and then ended up meeting for coffee, gosh, I think that same week, or if not, it was you know, just a few days later. So that was cool. Um, Rocket Book, so I talked about Rocket Book er, earlier, but obviously we haven't been able to give those away yet because of the ticket screw up. Uh, but Rocket Book was the same thing. I, I like Rocket Book. Um, 
and I just reached out to them on Instagram, sent them a DM and said, hey, we're doing this event. Would you be interested in being a part of it and donate some, some rocket books to us? And they wrote me back and sent me a box of rocket books. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then this last one is, hey, Mr. Digital Media, are you here? Oh, right there. Uh, so I just connecting again online and you know we wrote back and forth a few times and here they are today so I just wanted to say thank you guys and um, you know thanks for being open to the digital digital uh, digital direct messages yes, already <laughs> okay so these are some of my favorite tools and resources and I probably need to move it along I'm not sure where I'm at on time I'm good Okay. So these are some of my favorite tools and resources. Does everybody, does anybody use Boomerang? Yeah, I love Boomerang. It's, it's fun. Um, so if you don't know what Boomerang is, ba basically it does like a quick video back and forth. Um, you can either download the, the actual app or you can just use it within like Instagram stories. Uh, Hyperlapse is, a, is another tool that you can use. And I forgot to mention, what did I do? Oh, it won't go back. There we go. Um, layout, that's the last one. So hyperlapse um, lets you like scan over a long period of time. Layout lets you put multiple pictures in one image. Uh, and these are all Instagram apps. So some planning or scheduling management tools that I, that I really like are Agora Pulse. Uh, one of the, and it actually, I loved Agora Pulse and then Instagram changed their, their API and the way that it works. So it, it doesn't do what I loved it for as well now, but they, um, it really helps you with engagement and knowing that somebody has messaged you so you know to respond. Uh, because if, if you guys are in Instagram, you know how hard it can be sometimes to, to make sure that you're not missing any of those, especially like the DMs, because they, they get down too far. And like I said, I mean, engagement is one of the, uh, you know, the most important things about being on social media. So I, I like that, but now it's kind of taken away. So um, Planoly, does anybody, have you heard of Planoly? So I love Planoly because it allows you to see your feed and how it's going to look uh, before it actually goes live. So it helps you for planning your social media content. Another thing that I really like about Planoly is it lets you store your hashtags. So typically you would say you want like 15 to 20-ish hashtags. You can, you can group them. So like for example, let's just say Social Media Day Denver. You know, I would say hashtag Social Media Day, hashtag SM Day Den, hashtag SM Day Denver. I could put all those in there and group it. So then all I have to do is click a button and it's connected to that post. So that's one of my favorite parts about Planoly. And then the last one is repost. Um, so I wish Instagram would actually make this feature easier for us but they haven't, so you have to use other tools. Uh, but repost so you can share somebody else's content. So let's just say, for example, somebody posts a really cool image about today. I might want to reshare that on the Social Media Day Denver Instagram account. So this lets you do that. So Instagram really is all about the images. So you want to make sure that whatever pictures you're taking, that they, they look good. And so these are some of my favorite tools for fixing up those, those images. So Snapseed I love. And then Aviary is my other. And um, you guys are going to get all these slides. In fact, uh, you, I think I actually need to add that. So I don't know if I did that, but I will send out all the slides to everybody. So if you, you know, don't worry about taking pictures. So this is, I want to talk to you about the three-step Insta plan. First thing you want to do is determine how often to post. And I typically tell people when I'm training, like it really is about what you can manage. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Think about what you can actually manage in your your day-to-day -day life. Social media takes, you know, it can take a ton of time. 
Uh, the only thing I say is be consistent. So if you're going to post, you know, let's just say once a day, then post once a day consistently. If you're going to try and do three times a day, do it consistently. So whatever it is that you can, you can do, it's just about the consistency. Step two is you want to gather and capture images ahead of time. So I'm lucky because of this event, I'm going to have a ton of, a ton, a ton of in images, right? So we'll be able to share this out over time and it helps you better plan. So if you can, try and batch your images. Think about what it is that you want to capture and then you know, spend a half a day or a day getting those images together. That way it helps you down the road with your, your planning and scheduling of your content. So the third step is to ask three questions of yourself. And that is, what am I OK with sharing? What am I selling? And who am I selling to? So sometimes on a social media account, you may not want to share you know, images of your kids, but other people may want to. It's, it's, it's up to you. And you're, you know, you're, I can't think of the word. Anyway, what you're OK with sharing. OK. So the last thing I want to talk about before I thank our uh, volunteers and sponsors is if you want to message the uh, chatbot, which, by the way, have you guys all messaged the chatbot? Have you played around with the chatbot at all? OK, cool. Um, so if you want to message the chatbot Love Insta, then you'll get a link to a downloadable uh, calendar that you can use. It's a content calendar. It not only works for Insta, but it also has stuff for other, um, for all the other social media platforms. So you can use Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. It's got some live video planning in there. It's got Instagram planning in there. So it's a, if I do say so myself, I think it's a pretty cool tool. Okay, so thank you to our sponsors. So I will try to go through this quickly because we have a lot of amazing sponsors. First, obviously, I want to say thank you to Mile High Station. This place is am amazing. I love, 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 love this venue. So huge shout out to them. Uh, I'm not going to talk about myself. I'm socially powered. Um, Moxie Hotel. So if any of you were at the VIP event last night, Moxie was our, they're our partner hotel. They're putting up our speakers and then they helped us with the VIP event last night, which was amazing. Um, Review Me Marketing and the Digital Marketing Dude, they are back there in the corner. They have, well, they've been helping me for years now. They, they do all of our website maintenance and updates, so uh, I can, Thank you guys for, for all your work. I, trust me, like I email them a few times. I, I feel like a few times a day with, hey, can you up the, add this? Hey, can you change this? So they've been amazing to work with. Um, Print and Phil back there in the, in the kind of the middle of the room. Oh my gosh, they've done so much for us. Um, you can, uh, let's give them a huge round of applause because they are the ones that brought you all your shirts. Um, the bags, the lanyards, our signs, like they have done so much for us. So make sure you go back and, and say thank you to them. Um, Alice Analytics, they are, uh, came to us all the way from Wichita, Kansas. So go check them out. They've got some fun things going on over there with video and um, a, a good free offer for you guys. Uh, let's see, who else do we have? Um, JSAV, so there, thank you guys for, they've done all the, the AV and the slides and, and all that good stuff. Uh, creative Circle back there, they um, help with, uh, if you need creatives to help your business, or if you are creative and need work. So go, go say hi to them. Zoom, uh, so hopefully we'll get this working at uh, break time. We've got a cool leaderboard that will show all your guys' posts and, and who's like tweeting the most and we might do some fun giveaways. So if you aren't, you know, on the socials, you should be because your may, name may show up or your image may show up on the, the leaderboard. Uh, meet Edgar. 
So Meet Edgar actually couldn't be here with us today, uh, but they sent us some, uh, they, you should have some cute little stickers in your bags and another little thing from them. Uh, wallet Guide is up there somewhere. There he is, Caleb. Um, so Wallet Guide is helping millennials manage their money. Um, we've got Body Massage Wellness Spa back there. I mean, I think that speaks for itself. Uh, heroic pub Public Speaking, Chloe over in the corner. Uh, so they help you become a better speaker. Uh, obviously, we've talked about this a lot, but New Age and Water is Life. Uh, you know, make sure you guys go put your credit card in the dip machine and be sure to grab some water because we've got tons of it. Switcher Studio, Mark back there doing our live stream. Thanks, Mark. Marvel Marketing Squad, who has helped us all along the way with uh, our social media posts and making sure you guys know what's happening out there. Social Media Energy, shout out to you guys. And Ranch Bucket, you can see Ranch Bucket over there on the, the wall. They've got um, some cool Colorado and hats and shirts and all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, moving right along, we've got all of our in-kind sponsors. So Schatzer, uh, I mentioned them. Schatzer is a cool app that um, they, they actually help you share images. And you, basically, you can get images and then share them out. They also, I think this is super cool, they, um, they are adding a service that you can get an on-demand photographer. So like, say you were having a family barbecue or you know, something that you needed a photographer kind of short notice. They, they've got on-demand photographers, which is cool. Um, all in one social media, I don't know where Desiree is, but she's been helping us with our social media as well. Um, Rocketbook, of course, I already talked about them. We've got Bar Creative, who's here running around taking pictures for us. Event Integrity. Um, I'm like, wait, where'd you go? I, know, I saw you just a minute ago. Um, event Integrity Crystal uh, is in charge of Event Integrity, and they um, help make, sh make sure that events such as this um, get professional people that, um, like, prof like caterers or photographers or that sort of thing, so they're, they're certified so that you know who you're working with is a, they're not going to, they're not going to leave you high and dry. Um, Remedy Bronze, oh yeah, Bronze Organics, where's Jordan? So she, she um, helped me have this lovely golden bronze tan today, so thanks Jordan. Uh, Remedy Recipe, she is up there somewhere, uh, but she's got these cool things that go on your phone that um, stop the, the bad wavelengths so you don't get brain cancer. Sticker Giant over there, they get all the, the social media day stickers that are in your bags, thanks to Sticker Giant. Um, I haven't seen her today, but Leslie and Robin Nance at Fork It Over Radio, uh, thank you guys. We've got um, HomePods up there, and um, that's also uh, Ryan, Collective Mind, that I talked about earlier. Um, Kelly Flynn Interiors, I haven't seen her yet today, but she interior design. We've got CMBA, the Colorado Micro Business Alliance. Tico Tea, so they are back there. They will be um, serving tea at lunchtime. The About Pages, Carlene, okay. The About Pages, um, Ann Barheit, she's going to be around taking pictures as well. Made in Nature, they provided some snacks for, for us. Um, Woods High Mountain Distillery, they were actually, they're not here today, they were there last night. They um, provided our yummy, really cool signature drink, the Social Butterfly. So if you didn't see, you should go look on Instagram because it was a really cool drink that changed colors when you combined it. And then I skipped a line, the BMA Colorado and the AMA Colorado, and that is, it for our sponsors. My mouth is really dry. Um, so I do, I have, one, I have one last thing and then I'm done. Um, so teamwork makes the dream work and honestly this day would not have happened without all of the amazing volunteers. But in particular, um, so I, there's a few people that I, that I wanna shout out to just because they 
um, have done so much. Uh, the first of those is Sean Teasley. She has been by my side through this whole thing and truly, truly could not have done this without Sean. Um, wherever she is, I don't know where she is. Come up here and... <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Sean. So if you need anything, Sean's, Sean's your gal. She knows everything about this event, probably even more than I do. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go back to that. Um, so Nikki, I don't know where Nikki is. Nikki, I always screw up your name. Goitals, Gutals, Gutals. Okay, she has a hard last name. Uh, but Nikki's helped with all of our social media. Um, Lara Pensatencio, she's been amazing. She's also one of our speakers this afternoon. I'm not sure. Okay, 2:30. Um, Carrie Gottschalk, so she's another one of uh, our speakers, and she's helped me with the chatbot. So make sure you go message the chatbot and play with the chatbot. It's it's fun. Um, I have helped us with all of our live streams. If you guys saw any of our live streams, we did the weekly live streams, and um, Jen helped with those. Um, Holly Clear, Desiree Martinez, Amy Skillen, thank you guys for everything. Okay, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. I want to invite everybody to join our Social Media Day Denver Facebook community if, if you haven't already, and then connect with Social Media Day Denver, and I'm done.